Okay, so we're finally going to do it. We're going to take this thing apart and we're going to tune it. Uh, so, finally got my package here from China. So, if coronavirus isn't affecting you, it's affecting me. It took uh, about twice as long to get here, if not three times longer than normal for a package from China. But, uh, actually, on, on the topic of coronavirus, it my work has is now closed for two weeks so I should have some more time to do some videos even though I'm actually gonna be a little more busy uh, with stuff in my spare time because one of my friends is getting uh, some medical treatment so I'll be helping out around their house but uh, yeah oh, look at this gave a little gift with it <laughs> alright let's uh, get this thing open So this came with a bunch of adapters that I didn't have already, um, but mostly the one that I needed the most, uh, which is this guy. Uh, so let's get this whole thing apart here. All right, so <laughs> we got it out. Let's see here. Um, hmm. Uh, let's just get all of them out. It's the easiest way to look at them. Okay, so basically the way this works is it's got two little shift registers on here. I'm not sure what this IC is. They've ground off the, the face of it. Um, but... Uh, there's more pins to this uh, flash memory that's on here than there is uh, to the to the programmer here. So they just use a little shift register here so that way it can uh, push them all out at the same time. So let's go ahead and get the uh, ECU apart here, or PMC. So we got a, it's a T25, yep, T25 here. And if you run into these where they're kind of stuck like that, you can just take a wrench here. This one is a 13th, 16th, so you can put it on there and get them all started real quick. Sometimes these lids can be pretty stuck on there, so it's just got a little gasket around it. Sometimes that gasket sticks, so pull that off. And now you've got your back plate off of it. Okay, next is the uh, screws that are in the inside. There's just six of them here. These ones shouldn't be that tight. Okay, so now we're all the way apart and you can see here let me zoom in all right so we have our uh, microcontroller here but the all the memory is on here this is your uh, flash memory so we'll be using our hot, hot air station and removing this so that way we can uh, drop it in there and give it a little shot on the Mini Pro and see what we get there. There's another way of doing this where it's um, BSM or something like that where it's kind of a JTAG like connection going on over here. Um, so I'll, I'll be trying that in the future but we're going to just start here and uh, see what we can learn from it. Okay so let's go ahead and get this memory off of here. putting a little bit of flux on there and then we're just gonna get this hot air station out Now that we have the flash memory off of there, which we're using the AMD memory here, well, that's just what was on this one. Um, there are some that are Intel, 
but I believe that this uh, supports it. I haven't run into the Intel ones yet, so I'm not 100% sure uh, if it is supported by the Mini Pro, but this AMD flash is. So you get it off the board, and you just go ahead and drop it in here. So the stack setup kind of goes like this, where you have the... Uh, the board down here that has the sh shift registers in it and then the adapter here because you need the shift registers because this is a um, 44 pin uh, memory chip but there's only uh, 40 pins on here so uh, that's that's what's with this this extra adapter in between the two so uh, that, that gets those two hooked up to each other and then we're just going to drop it on there just like you just drop it in there just like we dropped these little guys in here. There's a whole lot more uh, legs here. It's a little harder to get it seated in there. I found after I put it in there I had to kind of push down on it a little bit to get it all the way seated. Not, a, not an insane amount of pressure but just a little bit of pressure there to make sure we got a good connection on there. So we put it on there and then we're just going to drop it in here like we would anything else. And I'll switch over to the other screen so that way we can... Uh, see it on the mini pro you open up the mini pro software here and we're going to select ic i already got it pulled up here but let's go ahead and pull it up again uh so we're going to go to amd and then you're going to scroll down to the am 29 f 800 bb uh select that and then let's go ahead and read it device read this one takes a little bit longer to read and we know we have a good connection because it uh, showed the device ID. So now we have our dump from the uh, from the memory here, and uh, these are quite large. You know, it's a whole an entire megabyte here. So, yep, it's got the the ending here. There's a there's a good chunk of it that's not used. Okay, so now let's uh, go ahead and uh, check that bin we dumped. Let's just see if it works. So we're just going to use uh, PMC Bin Builder. Um, let's open it up and see what's going on here. All right, so it says invalid OS segment. So let's see why we're getting invalid OS seg uh, segment from this uh, particular bin. So we're going to go ahead and open up uh, two different ones. We have the, this one's one I pulled off the internet that's a known good bin. And this one is ours that we just pulled off there. So if you look carefully, you'll see it's FF00, and then here you have 00FF, and then CE00, 00CE. So we're segment swapped. Uh, well, not segment swapped, sorry. Um, we're, we're byte swapped uh, on here. So every, every byte is backwards on here, pretty much. Uh, I don't know an easy way of swapping this other than uh, somebody pointed out on a forum that the, uh, geek, uh, the GQ uh, programmer software has an AB so swap on there. So you just, you know, you put, load your buffer into it and then you just click that and it, it just literally swaps them for you. So then we can just open up this software, do our, our AB swap on it, then file save as you're just going to save it as something else i've already saved it as swapped so let's go ahead and modify bin and open up uh, pmc swapped pcm swapped all right so now we have our bin loading up correctly and we can see the vin number that goes along with this the osid and everything else so um this is a uh, so it was a successful read. We, we did read it successfully. Unfortunately, the software for the Mini Pro software just doesn't have an AB swap in there. Um, so we can't use the Mini Pro software to do the swap. So we'll just download the GQ software, which you can find uh, here. Um, so uh, the, yes, yeah, the uh, MCU mall. Uh, and then download here. So you can see here where I've been talking on uh, PCMHacking.net and they answered a lot of my questions. They, they were the ones that uh, pointed out that I just needed to swap it. So um, yeah, it's. Uh, I, I looked into some other ways of doing it. There's a bunch of like C scripts you can write to, to do it for you, but that's the easiest way. Just download that and do it. So that's what I did.
Uh, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, please subscribe so that way you don't miss actually making some changes to this, putting it back in there and testing it. It's probably going to be one or two more videos in this series of programming this way, and then I'll probably try, to, if I have success with that, I'll probably try doing the other way of programming these. So uh, go ahead and uh, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video.